cold, I'll tell you. Cold. No idea the date. Maybe I'll put it on the video here, but uh, my screw is busted. I don't know how long it'll be fixed. Uh, my brother's screw, its track is going. It's the one I've been using for a while, but its track's too wrecked to use. BT Trapper, don't laugh too hard. Yes, I'm walking to check my traps. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I figured I, my line's too long to walk. It would take way too long, and I don't have time for that. Pretty busy, but uh, I'm just checking my main, my high priority sets. But mo both my baits have really close road access, so I was gonna just check the baits and like my Wolverine set and stuff that I got at this one place. But walking up through this way. On the other side of this trail a ways, there's a little logging block that I'm working on. It's private property. And uh, so I just came down through this way, across this creek. You can see that wolf in there. I could caught a wolf. There's wolf tracks coming through here. Dodge that snare. I don't know how yet. I'll go and walk. I'll probably look. But there's wolf tracks all around up there. I don't know if you can see his tracks very well. Coming down the screw trail. Across the bridge. My foothold was right there. But he's tied up in that tree right there. I don't know how close I want to get. I got my brother coming with a gun. That looks like a beast. I could be wrong. Big black one. Well, they always look big. Look, my, oh, looks like a back foot catch. He's pawing with both front feet. Oh, no he's not. He's got one front foot in. I don't know how well he's caught, so I didn't want to get too awfully close. I'm just trying. That's a big wolf. There's no doubt about that. That's a big wolf. I think he's caught by a bunch of toes, but I don't think he has his whole foot. The snow was too deep for him to get caught by his whole foot. I thought that foothold wouldn't work because it was too deep. But anyway, I'll quit messing around and freezing my fingers off and uh, actually I should probably get a few good pictures. It's a good idea. But yeah. Sweet. First wolf. I didn't know I was going to catch any because it was, they kept being super suspicious. That's a beast of a wolf. dim but he's definitely there oh it's a beast love it oh, just down from where we hammered that wolf it's like a picked up a lynx oh yeah looks good in silver it's too cold to do very much video First links of the year. That's sweet. But this is all packed down around. Must have must have thrown around. But those Wolverine tracks just just a bit of probably uh, 50 feet from this down the trail. So I don't know. I'll have to come back when I have a skidoo and it's daylight and uh, check the rest of these sets. Darn good. Oh yeah. That's nice to fur. That's a big that's a big big lynx. Nice. Well my hands about to freeze. That's good. That's not good, but this is good. Anyway, gotta go. Alright, 
on the way back to the truck. Hammered him right there. And he never went. <laughs> Funny. It's a big male. Check. I'll back up just to get him in the frame. There he is. Uh, I'm gonna weigh him, but I'm gonna guess. I haven't picked him up yet. I guess I have to guess after. Figure in 90 to 95 pounds, probably. But check this out. One toe. <laughs> I was going to reset the strap and bring it closer to the surface because I thought it was buried under too much snow, but looks like it worked. Old bugger. Teeth are wearing down pretty pretty far. Oh yeah, big wide wide skull on him. Now for the fun part. Don't have to pack them very far, but distance gets a lot further whenever you're packing this much weight. Oh, it's cold out. It's probably minus, I think it's about minus 30 or just below that. Down here with the creek, so. I'll do more pictures and videos when I get back. Back home. Adios. Just picked up that beast wolf there. 10 minutes ago. Holy smokes, this thing was heavy. <laughs> when you gotta pack it that far. I'm guessing 95 pounds. Let's see if we can minimize the shake here. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's good. Waiting for this for a while. But they finally came back to that bait. There was wolf tracks up and down the stew trail. Uh, almost. I don't know if they stepped on my other foothold or not, but whatever. It, definitely didn't go off if they did step on it but they may have walked right past it it was a P post as well both these sets were P posts and yeah there's lots of snares and stuff that I haven't checked because they're too far to walk but I'll see if I can get a skidoo within the next couple days and go check go check with the skidoo check in all my sets See what see what gives because there was definitely more wolves around. Uh, yeah, that was that was pretty sweet. I don't know if he ducked my snare, like the first snare he came to, or if he went r around it. But if he did go around it, it was really tight. He may have just like just brushed by it. But judging by the tracks. He fairly nonchalant and walked right into my set. So that is good news. And picked up that Lynx in my Wolverine set. That was, it's, it's good. Good good uh, that Lynx is in good condition too, so that's uh, that's good. It's a really big, really big cat. Good thick fur. Normally I start earlier than this, but I like to start catching them, but I haven't set anything for them yet. Mostly because I'm too busy, but that's what we got. Maximize your uh, catches with the least amount of sets. That's how you hone your skill. If you got the time. But yeah. Got him in the back. Uh, heading home. Looks like he's fresh, so... Didn't really think of that until recently. I'm gonna have to skin them tonight. There's no letting them freeze. Uh, I'm tired. I did night shift last night. But we'll get it. We'll get it. Alright. See you in the fur shed or something. Trying to get a fire going. Get this place warm. Wouldn't want to waste a good opportunity.
skin him while he's fresh. He's big. He's pretty big. Far from small anyway. Just off the ground. I knew he was big. Jeez. Yeah, 110. That's why. Oh, that's good. I was wondering why it looked way bigger. <laughs> oh, I packed him a long ways. I had to pack him out. Actually, should be standing beside him or behind him. Makes him look bigger. Anyway, <laughs> I packed him out. <coughs> oh, lungs are still frozen. That was way too much work to do with that cold weather. Holy crap. I'm going to have to measure. I'm going to have to go on Google Earth and measure how far that was. <coughs> that was a long ways to pack a 110 pound dog. He's pretty tall, eh? You see his legs? Yeah, he would have been the eight tall. A big mutt. Oh, Cats and Wolves is my favorite. It's always so much fun. Oh, holding it backwards since I... I'm not the best photographer, so sometimes it'll be a bit shaky. Just gotta... Yeah, I'll try and slow it down a little bit. Slow down my movements just a bit, but... What a monster. Check to see how thick it <gasps> fur is so thick on the belly. That's the num like the number one place you check when you're looking for smells like a wolf. <clears throat> when you're looking for uh, fur quality, checking fur quality. Belly will be the dead giveaway. But this wolf has a lot of fur, like lots. Much nicer than the ones that I got two years ago. I wasn't videoing much then. I do have a few pictures and videos of the couple that I caught, but I wasn't videoing for YouTube or anything, but I got four that winter and they all had mange and their fur was disgusting. Nothing quite like this beast. Look at that fur, that mane, silver as can be. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Make sure that fire's actually going. Anyway. Yeah, here's what I caught him on. Lighting's garbage, but oh, there we go. There it is. Apparently it's 100% pure. <laughs> I sprinkled this stuff on the set uh, probably a week and a half ago. When I re... I think that's when I uh, dug the trap up. I've already dug the trap up once to make it closer to the surface because it was buried under like six inches of getting pretty hard packed uh, snow. And that was like a week and a half ago, but <clears throat> it worked. It worked. Got him by a toe. I think the snow was a little deep and I think he was pretty cautious. Judging by his tracks, he was a little bit cautious about the set when he, pulled, when he crossed the bridge. 
and it was right, it's right there. Caught in my one, one, one toe. The whole toe too, not this part of the toe, like, you know, the whole thing. All right, the way it's meant to be. So excited. All right, I'll, I'll probably take a time-lapse video of me skinning them or something cool like that. Hanging up on the ceiling. Still got about four inches of its tail touching the floor. It's a big wolf. This is basically the the test after I'm done skinning a big one to see just how how long it is. I don't think uh I think only three wolves have ever skinned, ever reached the floor. Skin, well, no, there's a few more than that. That was, I only started, I guess, testing this uh, last year. But yeah. Very few wolves ever do that. They're usually over 100 pounds. 100 pounds or more, they'll, they'll touch the floor. I don't think I've had a wolf over 100 pounds that didn't touch the floor, so... Something to note. What a dandy.